this video we're going to talk about a weak basis. Uh, so a weak base is something that is an equilibrium in aqueous solution and uh, so that means a forward and reverse reaction are occurring and that we have a donor acceptor pair on each side where the protons being donated and accepted by uh, the acid base pair. All right, so we're going to do the example of methylamine. So methylamine is just like ammonia except you replace one of the hydrogens by a methyl group. And so it's the lone pair on the nitrogen that makes it basic. Uh, that is, that's the place on the nitrogen that accepts the proton. So you take a proton from the water and you put it here and you get NH3 plus with a methyl group. And when the proton's been donated away from water, then you're left with hydroxide. The reverse reaction is where the proton's given back from the uh, methyl ammonium ion back to hydroxide to give water. Now this um, reaction is very heavily favored toward the reactants. That is to say, uh, the equilibrium is mostly on this side. So for example, if we take one molar methylamine, throw it in water, eventually there's, uh, well, when we first start, there's no ions. So the forward reaction starts to occur, and then the reverse reaction starts to occur as these build up in concentration. And eventually you'll reach an equilibrium. So for example, uh, 0.98 molar and 0 0.02 and 0 0.02. Now the equilibrium constant is uh, something we can write down, and so it's going to be the products over the reactants. And we can get the numerical value of the equilibrium constant by just substituting into uh, the equilibrium constant, the equilibrium concentrations. So it's 0.02 squared and 0.02, uh, 0 0.02 times 0 0.02, which means it's going to be that number squared. And the final equilibrium concentration of uh, uh, methylamine is almost the same as the initial concentration. It turns out that the uh, uh, fewer and fewer ions that get produced, the closer this number is to this number. And so when we calculate this, we get 4 times 10 to the minus 4. So as uh, if we use a different base, we're going to get a different uh, equilibrium concentrations and we're going to get a different number for the equilibrium constant. Now since all of the stoichiometry is just one to one to one to one, we can directly compare the magnitude or the size of the equilibrium constant to determine how much product gets made. So the larger the K, the more product we have because the larger the numerator and the more product we have, the more basic the uh, solution is going to be because there's going to be more hydroxide. Okay, so um, if you have a list of KBs, the smallest KB is the weakest base. The largest KB is the strongest base. Now the other thing to note is that if you have sodium hydroxide and it's 100 percent ionized, that means you're dividing by zero, and so the KB for sodium hydroxide is infinity. So it's, you don't see equilibrium constants for strong acids and strong bases. 